Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna show you some elements of an effective landing page in my opinion and in my experience. Uh, and this is gonna be specifically for Google Ads, but a good landing page can be used in any type of marketing you're doing. I'm gonna actually use a real uh, website for a client that I'm doing advertising for, and I'm gonna show you a website, a landing page we were using that was less than ideal and then show you the changes that I made on the screen behind me and even some immediate results that we saw after uh, implementing these changes and a new landing page. So before I show you the two landing pages, uh, I just wanna show you stats real quick. I just implemented this new landing page like 12 hours ago and you can see in red, blue is the clicks, red is conversions and after implementing it, you can see the conversions jumped up and the client actually contacted me and said, oh, I got four calls just in the last, just yesterday. So it's early, but just wanna show you that uh, this, these elements do work. Um, so yeah, let's get into the two landing pages and I'll show you uh, what I did. So this is the landing page we were using that is less than ideal and I'll show you why. This is the landing page I redesigned. Um, and I'm now using and getting better results already. I'm gonna go through about nine different elements pretty quick and uh, show you how I fixed them and used these elements on the new landing page. The first one is just utilizing the space. So this one has a bunch of wasted space. I mean, there's a big margin at the top and then there's this big section here with this homepage link that is just very generic looking and basically wasting space. It's even worse on mobile. If I resize the screen to be more like a mobile phone, you can see there's a large section of space here that's just wasted. So on a landing page, you want to take advantage of all the real estate. And you can see on my landing page, I'm not really allowing much margin. And uh, right at the top, there's some information uh, and the logo. And uh, that gets me into the second point, which is logo and branding. So you notice on this landing page, this really generic, uh, it's not even the business name, but just the name of the the breed of dog they're trying to sell um, and this company does have a strong brand so i just created this it's not even their logo but just a creative text that just gives stronger branding so make sure to use your logo and whatever branding you have or the business has to uh, strengthen the landing page and just give it a stronger brand look so one obvious element you have to look at on landing pages is calls to action and phone numbers i focus a lot on phone numbers for google advertising because it's one of the biggest conversion actions that we track um, and that we gain is just phone phone calls. So you can see on their page, there is a phone number right here. It's very small. There's a contact us button that leads to another website that loads slow. So that's not good. This button leads to another, their main website as well. If we scroll down, some information and then um, form at the bottom of the page. So this is way at the bottom on a mobile phone, uh, smartphone, and then just this tiny little phone number here. So you're asking a lot of your visitors to find those two calls to action. If you look at the new site I designed, there's a phone number right at the top that's clickable on mobile. Without scrolling on desktop, you can right away see this form. There's another phone number here in the main body. So I like to have the phone number in multiple locations. If you have a phone number in the header, it's probably not enough. You want to have it in the main body text as well because that's where people are going to read. And then if they scroll all the way to the bottom, they'll have another phone number and another contact form. So two, two opportunities to uh, fill out a form. So definitely include a lot of calls to action on your uh, landing page as that is the main goal is to get people to respond and turn into a lead. The next element of a great landing page is great images. Uh, so whether you have a product or service, you wanna have uh, good images. In this case, images are really important because they're selling puppies. So they have a lot of images to work with. There's a good image here, uh, but again, on mobile, this gets pushed way down below this section here. There's three images here that are great images of puppies, but they're kind of odd because they're different shape uh, and they're very small two more images here. So these images are just taking up a lot of space and there's a lot of wasted margin here. You have to click them to enlarge. They do kind of load really slow as well. So good images, but they're not being used really well. So the way I used images on the landing page is I put one in the background. 
So this image, I'm not even sure if I like it, but it's fine for now. And it was a place to use this puppy image uh, and, and just add more imagery towards the top. But these are the most important images and they're uniform, all the same size. And I went through a lot of images and picked the best ones and made sure they loaded fast and uh, you know cropped them so that they're really strong and represent you know different colors of the, the puppies in this case and ages. Um, so yeah, just a few images not wasting any margin here and they're large they show up in a single column on mobile so they work really well there as well so yeah make sure you have great images on your uh, landing page but don't use too many because we don't want the landing page to load slow and that was one issue we we're having on this landing page is the images were a little bit too large in file size so the whole page is loading slow the next tip for landing pages i have uh, is keep it simple and this is another method of getting the site to load faster is just to have shorter landing pages this doesn't look too long but it got really long on mobile so it was really uh, a lot of scrolling on mobile version i tried to shorten mine up a little bit so it scrolls a little bit faster on desktop and mobile definitely loads faster as well but one decision i made was to cut out this section which is basically trying to sell people on australian labradoodles and my thinking here is that they're probably already sold on it because we're basically targeting keywords with Australian Labradoodle in it. So we don't really need to reinforce this. So it's probably wasted space. Um, and I just took it out so we can get right into the important stuff like the pictures and contact info. So yeah, keep it simple. Look to cut out any extra info that's going to focus more on the important info and allow your page to be smaller and load faster. The next element to include on your landing page is testimonials or social proof. I didn't have any of that from this client, although I think we're going to get some like pictures of people who've purchased uh, the puppies with testimonials. So that'll be a great thing to add. I don't have that on the site currently, uh, but I did want to show you a page that I use as a landing page for my website design service. And I do have a bunch of testimonials here in different colors with pictures of the client who gave the testimonial I do have completed websites there's kind of like social proof and you'll see as you scroll down the page there's a bunch of testimonials in blue and uh, green my next recommendation for effective landing pages is to think mobile and by that I mean design a mobile page whether it's a separate page or just a mobile version of the site in Google advertising currently, most of my clients get 50 to 80% of their traffic on mobile. So I'm using a theme called Divi where I can use a visual builder to really easily modify the mobile version of the site. So usually I can work on the desktop version and then switch over to a mobile version. A lot of the elements were fine already, but in this case, I wanted images high up on the page on mobile. So I opted to put images at the top on mobile and then get into this other information with the form. So I'm kind of testing this now. And then these, this grayed out area is not going to show on mobile. And then the bottom is the same. So obviously it gets arranged into one column. Uh, I had to change some text on mobile, make sure everything was aligned correctly. So this is going to depend on the theme you're using or maybe you're using uh, CSS code just to kind of change the styles on mobile, but definitely use whatever you have to make it look nice on mobile. Don't just create a desktop version and hope it looks good on mobile because you're probably getting a lot of traffic on mobile if you're using Google ads. Uh, and then don't just use this view. Uh, I, would, I definitely looked at my phone to see how it looked uh, because it doesn't always look the same on your phone as it does in the builder. Another thing I add on the mobile version is these call buttons. So I have a few of those on the page and people can click those to enter the phone number right on their phone and then call the phone number. The next tip I have for landing pages is to use video when you can. I know you don't always have video that you can use. Um, there are tools. One of the ones I use is called Animoto uh, and you could sign up and make videos pretty easily just with images and using their templates that are pre-made. That's a good way to add some interest to your landing page. We, did, we don't have a video for this landing page uh, yet, but I might suggest using something like Animoto. 
But a good example, again, is my landing page where I just recorded a video of myself talking about my website service, which, you know, isn't super exciting, but just adds a little bit of interest. It allows people to see me, describe my service, see me personally, just to connect with me a little bit more as opposed to just reading the text on my website. So use video if you can. Check out tools like Animoto in order to uh, create videos pretty easily. And the last suggestion I have for landing pages is to pinpoint your location. Uh, amazingly enough, I realized after a while that this landing page we we're using made no mention of location at all. Um, and you, sometimes you just take that for granted. You, you don't think people really need to know that or you think they're going to figure it out. But the only way they can figure it out is if they search this area code or if they went to the other site to investigate where these people were located and we were targeting multiple states so it's really easy to lose people based on location so i made sure to mention location often and early uh, i did mention it right here located in w waco texas so that shows up right at the top um, i mentioned it again somewhere here in waco texas again here and i mentioned it again at the bottom and have a map because we're targeting multiple states. I just want people to get a really good visual idea of where it's at in, in relation to them. We even mentioned how long it would take to travel from uh, certain cities where we are advertising, where they tend to get a lot of customers. So pinpointing your location and just putting yourself on the map in relation to your customers is really important because especially when you're a business where they're going to have to visit you Eventually, this might not be as important for elect companies that are online selling maybe a virtual product where it just gets delivered online, then location is not a big deal. But if you're a, a physical location um, with a yeah physical presence, you're going to want to make sure your location is uh, pinpointed on your landing page. So those are my nine tips for elements to include in your landing page to make them more effective. If you have other elements of landing page that you think I didn't include. I'm sure there are many, so feel free to comment and share those with other people. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I just published this new landing page and it was already getting uh, a bump in conversions as you see with this red line here. If you're interested in knowing what it does, you know, after 30 days like I am, um, after we have more data, comment below and remind me to maybe do an update video to show what the results were after 30 days. If you watch this video and you're a little confused because you think landing page is the same as a home page, uh, they're not the same. And I actually did another video that describes the difference between a landing page and a home page. So I'll link to that video here and uh, at the end, and I'll link to it in the description as well. So go check that video out and we'll see you there.